And while the vigils are going on in Missouri to honor the victims of last Thursday's horrific drug boat tragedy, another one is happening in Indiana tonight for the family of survivor Tia Coleman. Our Bria Douglas is here to tell us more about it. Bria. David and Heather, according to our Indianapolis affiliate, Coleman was not in attendance at the prayer vigil that was held at Mount Olive Missionary Baptist Church. However, that didn't stop the congregation from paying homage to her nine family members who passed away in the accident, including her husband and three children. The church prayed, sang, read Bible scriptures, and offered words of encouragement to Coleman to help her get through her grief. One pastor specifically prayed that the Lord would be with her, especially when the spotlight on the tragedy goes away. In the days ahead, Lord, when the cameras have been taken down, attorneys have stopped calling, friends have shut their voicemail off. In those days, God, that all voices have been hushed and silenced, and we pray tonight for her sanity. We pray tonight that you will keep her, God. Coleman's 13-year-old nephew was also recognized at tonight's vigil. He's the only member from her family to survive the accident. Bria Douglas tonight, thank you. And tonight